What is up you guys, you're watching Sergio's Secret. Before I get started with today's video, all the links for everything will be down in the description box, so it's easy if you want to inquire about any of the items. What's up? It's Great Button. I post a video every single day on contemporary and designer fashion, so if that interests you, go ahead and subscribe to your one of my uploads. And today's video is going to be a haul, and it's going to be a collective haul of certain things that I've been purchasing. So I've been a lot more frugal in my purchases, and a lot more smarter, and I have been selling things. So a lot of these items I feel like were things that I needed in my collection, or just things that I wanted to add that I felt like were fun, that I could use in the moment, and then potentially get rid of. Let's go ahead and get started with this collective haul. I have some eyewear, I have some handbags, I have some beauty products, a little bit of clothing. So I feel like this is going to be a really great haul, so let's go ahead and get started. Started. Uh, the first item that I purchased comes from what Dillard's what comes around goes around and I've been really critical in the past about their pricing is super overpriced which is it is I'm not gonna lie if you go you can go on fashion file that's my favorite pre-loved website um, I'll leave it linked down below that's where I buy all my pre-loved items and you know it's always super overpriced when we go into Dillard's you guys have seen me do Dillard's vlogs it's always just overpriced but today um, I actually bought purchased it today i went in there and i was just looking and i saw this bag and when i saw the price tag she said it's had like three markdowns that it's been here forever and that nobody has purchased it um because it's always been so expensive i think she told me the re the price that they were selling it before the markdown was i think 550 dollars 600 dollars and that's like the pre-love price and i wouldn't pay that for this but when i saw the price i had to purchase it so this was about 200 dollars with tax and it came in the Dillard's X What Comes Around Goes Around shopping bag. Super excited that I bought this. So it came in this shopping bag and this is the dust bag that it came with. So it is a Fendi bag. And for me, I'm not the biggest fan of a lot of the newer Fendi bags. Like I do appreciate the peekaboo. I do like the newer baguettes. But for me, my life, I'm, there's other handbags that are full price. That I would prioritize a little bit more than Fendi but when I saw this baby uh, for around $200 I knew that I wanted to purchase it and I knew that this is gonna be something that I could get a lot of wear of so without further ado this is the dust bag right here like I said it's in really really good condition and I got this Fendi baguette and the baguette that I got is this beautiful navy color with the white stitching and I like that I can just move it I can change it the condition of the bag is super good the only thing I will say there is scratching here on the plaque but that's that's to be expected when it's a vintage bag but I just love the contrast of the navy with the white stitching I just took a picture and posted on Instagram this is the picture right here and I feel like this could be a bag that I can get a lot of wear out of. I'm super in love with this enamel detail. And then right here on the side, it says Fendi. And then when you open it up, the authenticity card from what, goes, what comes around goes around. And this, like I said, it's my first time ever purchasing from them. And it looks like, so it's a kind of like a nice little blue color. Navy is one of my favorite colors. And it has um, Fendi and it has a zipper on the inside. So um, I feel like this would be a really nice addition um, to have in my collection to test out if I do like this baguette style to see how I feel about the brand as Fendi. So I decided to go ahead and purchase it. I do really like it and I feel like I will be getting a lot of wear on this, especially with a lot of the boots and a lot of the shoes that I have. So this would pair really, really well. So I cannot wait to get a lot of wear on this Fendi baguette. And if I don't like it, I can just sell it for what I paid for and keep it moving. Um, it's the Fendi baguette I do really like and I do she was a really good purchase to buy. Second purchase, I've already made a video about this. So I'll leave it linked down below and this is the Marc Jacobs the tote bag I got this about a couple weeks ago right before I moved in and I just love it I love the color I've been wearing it a lot it comes with a strap it has a zipper I think that this is a really great bag especially for under $200 it's a really great price point I prefer this size versus the larger one because the larger one does not have a strap but I don't want to talk too too much about it because I do have a full-blown video on this bag Which like I said, I'll leave it linked down in the description box I do like it and I've been getting a lot of questions. Is it worth it? How's it been holding up? I've been putting my laptop my agenda camera my whole shebang and it's been holding up really well So for me personally, I highly recommend it So this is going to be the Marc Jacobs tote bag and I 100% recommend this to anybody who's looking for a nice bag 
bag and like I said, it's empty right now and as you can see with my hand, with about a month's worth of wear, it still holds its structure. So it's gorgeous, it's beautiful and I cannot wait to get more wear in the fall and winter in this handbag by Merck Jacobs. Um, as you can see, um, the reason why I really like this Fendi bag was because I love this Coach Tabby bag. So. I went to Dillard's today and I believe they're having a price increase on the Coach Tabbies. Like they have like these new stickers on there. I'll insert that video here. So if I can find them before the price increase, like I said, I'll leave it linked down below. But I've been wanting the perfect camel handbag for such a long time. And I've seen this one before, but I finally hit the bullet and I bought it. And I love the C. I love the smooth leather with the grain. I like the tabby style in general. How it, I can take this top handle, I can wear it as a crossbody shoulder bag, where I can keep them both on. I can take the strap off for me. I personally have been taking off this strap and I've been wearing it more like thin on the crook of my arm. And I've just been getting so many compliments on the color. And I like that it has a little dog tag detail in here. I may get um, this hot stamp later on, but I do really like this Coach Tabby bag. And like I said, I've been really wanting the perfect camel bag. And I don't have any camel bags in my collection that I was going to purchase it. So I went ahead and bought it. So um, this is the Coach Tabby bag in all its glory. And I will be getting a lot of wear in the fall and winter. And I feel like this type of camel color it is a handbag that you can use all around so i would recommend it to anybody who's looking for a very nice old leather handbag that's super versatile but it's not super big or not super small i think this is the perfect size for every day the handbag and the last handbag in this video is going to be my beautiful coach tabby handbag let's go ahead and talk about some of my favorite beauty products so for the longest i've been using living proof styling cream and growing my hair out a little bit more so for me I, I feel like I have to reapply it and I don't like to reapply products throughout the entire day So I got this living proof control hairspray and this one has been really well All I do is I get my wet brush when I'm out of the shower I kind of dry my hair kind of mild I comb my hair up and then I put hairspray and it holds up th throughout the entire day This one is a little pricey, but I don't really use a lot of product in general So this one will go a long way for me, but I have been loving this living proof hairspray and I do recommend it and I do like the scent that it gives off so this is the living proof hairspray I'm using a really fun body wash when I went to Denver the hotel had this body wash and I've been really liking it so I knew when I got back when I when I was gonna move out that I wanted to get this body wash <laughs> I don't know why I don't even know how to pronounce it but it has such a great scent if you go anywhere where they carry this I would highly recommend looking at the product I believe Nordstrom carries it and probably Sephora as well 16 ounce of the body wash and I just like it. It looks really good in my shower. It smells incredibly great. And like I said, I know these ones are more premium products, but I just use I'm very sparingly um, on my products. So things like this last me quite a while. And so I do get my money's worth, but I have been liking this body wash and I've had it for about a week item. I've used this two times. My friend Paulette actually has this and she, I was looking for a nice shampoo and she just recommended and raved and raved and raved about it. So usually through friends recommendations, I usually try um, things and this is the Aoi uh, Fine Hair Shampoo. I like that it's gel, long time. This is um, 10 ounces. So for me, I feel like this would last me for about a good six months. So this is a product that, you know, I don't have to keep replenishing, replenishing, replenishment probably twice a year and keep it moving but I have been liking this Aoi shampoo it's been making my hair look super great and I don't know for whatever reason I feel like in past years my hair color has been more black out like in the sunlight and everything maybe because I'm more outside I get more of that natural really pretty brown like even when I take a picture I can see the brown in my hair which is something that I really like I like that it looks a lot more softer but I'm not saying that it's this product because I just now started using it but in general I've just been noticing that but this Aoi shampoo is something that I have been loving a lot two items are going to be sunglasses so Nordstrom Rack has been the winner for sunglasses so um, I just woke up one morning guys and I got a notification on my Nordstrom Rack app and they said do your sunglass event and I'm like oh my god oh my god oh my god and then on the Nordstrom app you can put like like uh, best value and it will tell you the percentages and I saw this one and it let me add it to my cart and I immediately checked out so I ended up getting these glasses retail for 
$500, I believe $450, and I ended up getting them for $41.99. Yes, guys, I got these Dior glasses, $41.99, in brand new condition. Like I said, they came from NordstromAct.com. It came with the box, and it came with the cleaning cloth, and it's $42 under a key sunglass, under a Lee Specs sunglass, a great price point. And I do really like kind of like this envelope case right here. And let me show you the glasses. My hair color has been a lot more lighter. So these are these blue sunglasses. And these are called the Dior Tailoring 2. And by Dior Home, made in Italy. So they have this tort, like you see this blue. But on the inside, it has this tortoise detail. And the arm right here is blue. And the lens itself is blue. So they kind of give me like that Dior so real, so reflected type style. Because especially right here. But I have just been liking this round style a lot in general and when I saw them guys like like when I bought them I was like oh my god if I don't like them I can always give them away as a Christmas gift much so I cannot believe I got these for $41.99 these beautiful Dior sunglasses and this is going to be something that I will be transitioning and this can be a pair of glasses that I can use throughout the entire year and for me I always love sunglasses sunglasses make me feel confident sometimes when I don't feel my best I put a blazer on a handbag and a sunglass but for me the sunglass always makes a statement so when I saw them <laughs> I just bought them what do you guys think you think they look good on me i think they look pretty decent and especially with a good smile i think they look absolutely phenomenal so these ones are the dior sunglasses and i'll try to leave them a link down below they're still available those ones online and i got these ones in store so nordstrom rack like i was just shopping um i actually had to do a return and i the lady told me oh my god we just got a new celine glasses and so i looked up and a lot of them were very novelty style kind of like you know seasonal styles but I saw these black pairs. So these are kind of like the Nordstrom anniversary style, but they were $150. So here's the case and everything. And do you, if you follow me on Instagram, so I, I always say you follow me on Instagram because I post whenever I go shopping, all the deals and just me in general. And so you probably have seen me be wearing these in general. And these are these black classic Celine glasses. So the difference between these ones and the anniversary, the anniversary ones were like a little bit more smaller and these ones are like a little bit, a little bit larger, which is something that I like because I like them be a little bit more kind of oversized or just like i feel like the other ones were not maybe as proportional they looked a little small i love them they retail for 460 dollars like i said i got them for 150 dollars which is a lot of money but way better than retail and they are polarized and i've been preferring a little bit more polarized sunglasses like my maui gyms and some of my tom fords are polarized so if a sunglass is available in polarization um i do tend to go for it and they have the they are the new Celine, so they have the new Celine little side right here. And I just love them so much. And I've been getting so many compliments on them. And when I saw them for $150, I knew that I was I had to buy them. And I think they're a really great pair. They're kind of like that classic timeless pair. I have a lot of these from like Chanel, Ray-Ban, and a lot of other brands. But for me, I like this square shape. I feel like it looks good on me, and I feel like it goes with everything. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. But I did get these Celine glasses and I really, really, really do like them. So this this is what they look like in all their glory. And like I said, I'll try to find the link of these down below. But these are the Celine sunglasses. I purchased more shoes. I did a video for Sam Edelman and that video will be coming out momentarily. So I will not be showing the shoes that I got from that video. That will be for that video exclusively. So these boots right here, you guys know how much I love the Mark Fisher Yell booties. I have three black ones, I have two suede ones, and then I have one leather one. And when I saw these ones at Nordstrom Rack, I had to buy them. As you can see, I'm such an avid Nordstrom Rack shopper. And these ones were $59, and then they were doing additional 40% off all shoes. Once they retailed for $200. They were there for 60 bucks and then 40% off of that price. I got them for $36 plus tax. And so they're just the classic Yale booties. I have yet to wear them out, but I will be wearing them out with like a super sleek black outfit. I feel like the Saint Laurent blazer that I got from the Cabazon outlets will go really well with this like a super sleek black outfit. These ones will look really good with. They have kind of like that hair texture. And I've been more confident into wearing leopard or cheetah, whatever you want to call it. Ever since I got this Ghani um, little denim jacket moment, I've just been more confident into wearing leopard. I ended up getting these ones, and me and my friend actually went the same day, and we got we both got a pair, so we're actually twins, and yeah, these leopard um, yellow booties by Mark Fisher are a win, and the ones that I already own down below, but these are really comfortable um, classic boots from the brand of Mark 
Fisher. And the last pieces are gonna be clothing pieces. So one of my friends came back from Florida and she asked me if I wanted something from the Uniqlo store. So this is what I ended up picking out. So right here, this is like, um, I wanted to get something that's not black. I tend to wear a black a lot. So this is kind of like a kind of like a dark gray color. And this was just like a good turtleneck. I'm a big fan of turtlenecks because they look super sleek, edited, and like I said, super clean. So I like that I can add a third piece, a blazer, and outerwear, and it just elevates the entire look with still looking very clean and very simple. I got this one right here. These ones were $40, but I know that these ones are gonna are gonna I am gonna get so much wear out of and Uniqlo items price point is super good quality. So I always recommend Uniqlo. The simple white tops that I always wear always come from Uniqlo. So I ended up getting this one in this beautiful gray. And I got it in this kind of very, very, very fun blue color. I noticed that blue looks very, very good on me. I've just been going a little bit more out of my comfort zone by getting like blues and a little bit of greens and stuff. I'm so very much a black and white and gray person, but I have been incorporating a little bit more pops of color here and there. I ended up getting this one right here and I tried it on and it looks super good. So black blazers, some outerwear vest. Um, I cannot wait till the temperature drops a little bit more here in Texas so I can get wear out of both of them. But yeah, these ones were really, they're really great quality and I cannot wait to wear them and get um, much needed wear on them. So these ones are the unique low top. This item is something that I've been wearing quite a lot and it's this Hugo Boss shell. So shells can be so expensive from premium brands like Theory, Veronica Beer, Sell. I believe it was $60 on sale at Nordstrom Rack. They were doing additional 40% off all women's clothing. And so I saw this shell and I purchased it and it's just been the classic white one. I already have another white one. And so they hold up pretty well. And for the price point, I just had to purchase it. Like I said shells can be so expensive like this I think retail for almost $200 with tax which is absolutely insane for a white one and so I bought it and what I like is that I believe it's not super out it's kind of like a tank top type style so I feel like I can breathe a little bit more and you know it still gets a little bit hot here if you walk outside you know if the sun hits you it can be a little warm so these are really great to kind of get that fall look but without actually you know wearing actual long sleeves robot shell and like I said I have another one and they're really great quality and actually I used to take a lot of my shells to the dry cleaners now I wash them here at home and they actually look a lot better than the dry cleaners I just don't dry them on the Hugo Boss shell I have been enjoying quite a bit next item is something that I'm not sure if I'm going to be keeping so I went to last couple name and Marcus so by the time you see this video it will have already been dropped and I'll leave that link down below so I saw this um, $1,200 Canada Goose jacket it's still sold full price at Neiman Marcus Nordstrom Bloomingdale's and I got it for $402 it said that the retail right here is $845 which actually it's not it's um, $1,200 and so this is the inside small with the beautiful navy color that I posted on Instagram. That's why I always tell you guys to follow me on Instagram because you see everything. And so this is what it looks like on. And I like it, but I feel like it doesn't really get that cold here in Texas. And I already have a couple more um, outerwear pieces that I'm not sure if I want to add this one. But I love the pockets. I love how long it goes. And when I saw the price point, I knew that I had to purchase it. And so we'll see if, how I, if I get wear on it. But it is a very classic Canada Goose jackets are super popular and every single year like the Canada Goose store gets super crazy When I went to London there was a line at the Canada Goose classic black long one Navy size small for the price point I had to purchase it But um, time will tell if I wear it if I don't wear it I probably will end up selling it um, this Canada Goose jacket I do think is absolutely gorgeous and I feel like um, this is something that's very kind of timeless because I do Canada Goose jacket that's about to turn three years old and it literally looks brand new the moment that I purchased it and it's been a really good investment we'll see if I get wear on that one if not like I said I'll just sell it for what I paid for Goose jacket um, was a really great price so I had to purchase it the next item is this ALC sweater and this one's like I said in a charcoal color it's very similar to the Uniqlo one but this is this is something that I would wear by itself and I've just been wanting more sweaters that are not black or that, are, you know, I just aren't just not black and I have something to it. So I like kind of like this cow neck, but I like how it's like, it's not super like all over the place. It's still proportionally done super well. I love the little sleeve details. And normally I'm not the type of person just like sweaters because like I said, it doesn't get too cold here. But I saw this one, this one retails for about $400. I got it for $100. And I thought is this gonna be something I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of. I have a bin sweater that I've had for like almost four years now and it literally looks brand new and I take really good care of my cashmere knits or wool knits so I know this is going to be something that I have forever so I went ahead and invested 
um, in it and it's going to be something that I could reach for in five and ten years from now so um, this AOC sweater is definitely for the win and I purchased this from the Bloomingdale's outlet and I did do a vlog there so I'll leave that video linked down below and you can check it out so I did get that so the last two item guys and so Nordstrom was doing extra 20% off all clearance and so I was on the website super early. I did order a couple of things, but I didn't really like a lot of the items. Like I ordered 10 things. This is the only thing that I kept. It goes to show that I've been super edited in a lot of my purchases. So these are A Goldie jeans, size 28. And you guys know how much I've been loving A Goldie. I have two other pairs that I love. And A Goldie has just been a brand because I love the fit. And I've been wanting the perfect white jeans. I've tried them by so many brands, so many places, like Mother Jeans, Seven Jeans, everywhere. And I just haven't found the perfect one. And I feel like I would go for skinny styles and I feel like white skinny jeans on me don't look really good. So these ones are still kind of like that straight leg, but I like how they're proportionally done super well. Um, these ones do not have a raw hem, but they have a little bit of distressing here at the end right there. And they are just the perfect jeans. I actually wore them out. And for the ones asking, can you wear white denim after Labor Day? Um, absolutely, yes. And I wore this one with the white Hugo Boss shell. I wore a Levi's trucker jacket and with a handbag and I was out the door. So I have been liking these A Goldie jeans and A Goldie as a brand. I have been enjoying their denim. I have been wearing the blue one like probably like two or three times a week. So I finally found the perfect white jeans and you probably wear these ones quite a lot because now I found the one white jean that I actually really like and I enjoy. So these ones I'm super, super excited because I've been wanting some nice white jeans for the longest and I finally knocked it out by purchasing these ones here. Are these redone jeans? So I've been wanting to try some redone jeans. These ones are in a size 29. They are a little bit more on that kind of like oversized Levi's fit. I definitely could have done a 27 for a super tight fit or 28 kind of like my igoldies for kind of like that relaxed fit but these ones i like how i have that little bit of extra fabric and i like how it kind of looks a little bit more like this when i put them on they have the redone little tag right here but i love the color of the denim and i love this beautiful hot raw hem and i've just been getting so much wear i've had a pair of ags that were this color for like four or five years so i wanted to find something to replace them with and when I saw them, I just had to go ahead and purchase them. They're made in Mexico. They are absolutely super nice. Like I said, they give me that beautiful kind of classic blue denim look. And so that's why I went ahead and purchased these um, redone jeans. That's going to be my haul for everything, guys. I try to go a little bit fast because I tend to talk y hablar y hablar y hablar mucho throughout my entire video. So I decided to be a little bit more edited and kind of show you everything. But I have been really liking everything. Like, all the beauty products I love, the sunglasses I love, the handbags, the one shoe that I bought, the two denim pieces, the sweaters, the first pieces tops, the Canon Goose jacket. I've been buying things that I've been loving and I've been selling things as I purchase things. So it's been really good to have, kind of have more of an edited wardrobe and I feel super happy and to know where everything is at. And I feel like I get more wear and more versatility on the piece. I love everything. I'll leave everything linked down below, guys. And yeah, I feel like I haven't done a haul video in quite a hot second. So I decided to do one for you guys. Thank you. Thank you so much for me on these videos. Los quiero, los quiero, los quiero mucho. Let me know what some good deals you've been buying lately. What is your favorite thing to haul? Because I would definitely love to know. How do you feel about the Fendi? baguette do you like it do you not like it i like it and i cannot wait to get more wear on it and it's my first fendi ever in my collection as far as handbag guys thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you guys on tomorrow's video because i post a video every single day guys and see you mañana in tomorrow's video bye guys take care